Joining me now is Megan Nichols. She is the CEO of Food Banks Mississauga. Megan, thank you very much for joining us. Good morning, Roger. Uh, a busy time for you right now. I believe the quote is a tidal wave of demand. What does that even mean right now? Well, Mississauga has seen the fastest growing food bank use of anywhere in the province in the last year, with 58% more people using the food bank now than were using the food bank a year ago. And many of those people are working folks. 27% of people using the food bank have a job as the way of supporting themselves. The cost of living has just risen faster than their incomes, and they're needing to rely on the food bank to get by. Now, Mississauga is one of the suburbs of Toronto, and people usually think of the food banks as a, a downtown Toronto thing, not the suburbs. What is driving that? You mentioned some of, the, some of those factors. What else is driving that, though? Well, now we see in Mississauga that one in 13 people are using the food bank. I've worked here for 15 years, and when I started here, it was one in 40 people using the food bank. And now we're at one in 13. And so the numbers are moving in the wrong direction. As wages don't keep up with the cost of rent or the cost of food, as social assistance programs have not um, been increased over the years, and so people are living far below the poverty line and really being legislated to have to use the food bank to get by. And so this Thanksgiving season, we really really need folks who are able to make a donation to ensure that there's adequate food for all the neighbors who are going to need us this Thanksgiving and beyond. How has the response been? Well, unfortunately, as many of us are also feeling the financial pinch right now, whether you're uh, employed, whether you have a good income, whether where, whatever situation you're in, groceries cost more these days. And so people are telling us who used to donate to the food bank that they're now needing to use the services of a food bank. And so we are running behind. We're at only 72 percent of our goal for the Thanksgiving drive. And so if folks are able, we really would need you to step up and make a donation this Thanksgiving so that we have adequate resources to serve our neighbors. There's no funding for food banks from the provincial or federal government, so it's really the generosity of our neighbors that we rely on to make sure that other neighbors have the food that they need. And that's the short-term solution. What is the long-term solution to this? The long-term solution is not food banks, it's policy change. People often say, Megan, don't you know you're a Band-Aid? We're a proud Band-Aid. When you have a cut, you need a Band-Aid. But ultimately, if you have a wound, which is what a 58% increase in food bank users is, you need to do major surgery and look at the structural inequities that lead to people using food banks. So we really call on um, increasing social assistance rates, investing in affordable housing, protecting workers' rights, and ensuring people living in poverty are at the center of making these decisions. That's what will ensure food banks are needed far less and far more sporadically. And we can all have a community where everyone thrives. Are different levels of government hearing that now? Are they, are they thinking about it? There has not been any significant intervention at the provincial level. Many other provinces have invested in food security, and we have not seen that in Ontario. And so there are an opportunity for the current provincial government to make some historic first-time changes that would result in many Ontarians being lifted out of poverty. At the federal level, we're very supportive of the Canada Disability Benefit, but there needs to be more. There's almost 2 million people a month using a food bank in Canada, and that's double what it was just a few years ago. And so we can't keep chipping away at the edges of these issues. We have to get to the core of why 20% of Canadians hold most of the wealth and an increasing number of people have so few resources they have to rely on a charity to get by. Okay, Megan, thank you very much for joining us. I know how busy you are right now. We appreciate it. Thank you. Megan Nichols is the CEO of Food Banks Mississauga.